مثلا دوست آنگان حالا که خوب باشه همون که قول داده بودم قرار ویدیو سلکاتر رو انجام بدیم به خاطر اینکه آزمشگاه ما این کار انجام نمیده من دو سرزم آدوبا درخواست کردم که این کار رو از محله اول تا محله آخر که در آقا تیمار کردن سلول ها با اون پاساره ای که برای خودش کار میکنن هست رو بسیم ما نشون بده Hi everyone, my name is Aduba and we're in the cell culture room today. So I'm going to walk you through the different equipment that you need for cell culture. The first thing you need is a sterile gown. You put it on on the front and you tie it at the back and then you put on your gloves and you also have your safety goggles. So the first uh, instrument that we have is the incubator. The incubator is normally at 37 degrees. This is about the temperature of the human body. And it also has 5% CO2 or carbon dioxide levels. This is to keep our cells alive. So as you can see, we have different flasks and plates of different cells. And this environment keeps the cells alive. So the second equipment that we need is a centrifuge. The centrifuge allows us to separate our cells from a supernatant or media that it's in. So it can allow us to actually know how many cells are in that centrifuge or flask so we can go on to the experiment. The next uh, equipment that we need is the laminar flow hood. This um, separates the air inside from the air outside and it keeps the flow in there so that no air from the outside can get in and vice versa. So we work inside there and we make sure that we use aseptic techniques. This technique ensures for limited touch, limited crossover, and we make sure that our cells in there stay as le with least contamination as possible. Uh, another equipment that we use is the 37 degree water bath. This is also the same temperature as the incubator. So inside this, we warm up everything that we're going to add to the cells, like the media, fetal bourbon serum, which we need to make media, our penicillin or our um, antibiotics, as well as all of our um, treatments that we're going to add to the cells. Everything needs to be at 37 degrees. And this gets um, renewed or refreshed every week. So the water in there is always clean. The next equipment that we use is this uh, microscope. This microscope allows us to look at different magnification of cells. So we can look at the different organelles or the different parts of the cells. We can identify different structures and we can look at different cell types. So you can tell us at what stage the cells are actually growing at so that we can go on to the next part of the experiment. What's not in this room is where we actually store cells that we're not using. So cells can be stored e e either at minus 80 degrees or at minus 196 degrees or liquid nitrogen phase. Our cells are able to be stored for long periods of time at these temperatures in uh, DMSO or dimethyl sulfoxide. This allows us to be able to freeze our cells and then use them in three to six, 12 months time so that we can be able to grow them at 37 degrees. So moving on to which reagents um, we have. So we actually have DMEM media. This media is, stands for Dilbecker Modified Eagle Medium. We use this to grow cancer cells. This is not complete, so what we do is we actually make it up in 100 mil using 89 mil of this, which we buy from uh, Gipco. 10, 10 mil of FBS, or fetal bovine serum, which we buy from Thermo Fisher. And then we add one mil of um, our penicillin or our antibiotic. So these three ingredients make up our media. So I'm gonna make the media now. So the first step is we're gonna add 89 mils of media into the sterile bottle. That's 30 mil. We're gonna repeat this until we get 89. That's 60 mils. And 29 mil. 
All right. So we've added our DME and media, 89 mil of that. So to finish doing that, we add 10 mil of fetal bourbon serum or FBS. So this fetal bovine serum contains essential nutrients that the cells need to grow and it also allows for um, our DME and media to last for longer. That's 10 mil, so now that's 99 mil altogether. So now we need the final one milliliter of our antibiotic, which is streptomycin, penicillin streptomycin, sorry. Give it a good mix, and then we label our bottle as DMEM and whatever else we put in there. So DMEM, FBS, and penicillin, streptomycin, and the date. So as you can see, we also have other reagents. So one of them is trypsin. Trypsin, we buy it as is, also from Gipker, same company as where we get our media. And trypsin is used um, to make a reaction for the cells to re get removed from the flask so that they don't adhere anymore. And we neutralize this with the media that we've made up so it can neutralize the reaction. The next thing is we make up our phosphate buffer. Um, this is made up of water and tablets, tablets, two tablets in 200 ml. And we autoclub this so we actually make this up ourselves in the lab. And I think that's it.